Pretty good result, 4 minutes 21.693. Okay, I honestly already thought that I uh, lost the session because the memory started being or getting very flaky like in the end but managed to improve my score yet again uh, memory is at minus 40 CPU between like 115 and 120 and the score now is 4 minutes 21.5 seconds the memory definitely doesn't seem to like being very cold this time around but at least I got something so uh, channel A, channel B yeah so uh would like to see a little bit higher on the frequency but yeah this is pretty much it retail bars 1.07 and all of the eight cores at six gigahertz okay so that's pretty much it i just ran out of ln2 which was meant for the stage one and stage two of the corsair ddr5 invitational uh, overclocking competition so uh, pretty good results like overall in the end i think but not as good as I really hoped for because in the stage one of this competition I really saw some amazing numbers. So uh, Pi Prime 2 billion as well as Geekbench 3 well above 8000 mega transfers per second. And now when I was trying to run let's say like Super Pi 32M and so on I just couldn't go any higher on the memory frequency than uh, like 7200 to 7300 plus with common rate 1 and 7400-7500 ish with common rate 2 so the memory frequency has dropped somewhere around 500 or even close to 600 megahertz or mega transfers per second so something is definitely not working well I tried many different BIOS versions the uh, retail BIOS 1.07 has been the most solid for me especially with common rate 1 but overall this BIOS version has been the most solid in the end, even better for me than uh, the latest 1.09. So uh, something is definitely not correct. I was talking about this uh, thing with, let's say, like Ralph from Sweden, and he actually saw uh, one, of, one of his uh, CPU uh, IMCs uh, degrading. So the uh, 
maximum memory frequency just suddenly dropped like by a huge amount. So uh, the issue is either in the IMC or on the motherboard itself. I double checked the mount on the memory sticks. I actually uh, reapplied everything, but it was exactly the same. I tried with uh, insulation on the golden contact pads, so with Vaseline in the memory slots and on the golden contact pads and then with everything properly cleaned, but it was exactly the same. So uh, it has to be either the IMC or the motherboard. Uh, I cannot double check it now with my engineering sample 1200K, but uh, definitely no idea. And it's very hard to say because I haven't been using any like uh, high value on the VDDQ, for example, for long periods of time. So uh, I have generally used like very safe values. So uh, even if the uh, whole thing is the case, so the IMC has degraded on this 1200K, then uh, it has to be like uh, about overall weakness on these very early stage uh, DDR5 memories and IMCs because this definitely cannot be like uh, very dangerous for the CPU overall nor for the memory. So uh, if it only happens with the CPU and the memory on cold like when really pushing very high memory frequencies and so on then uh, it has to be like about overall weakness uh, as DDR5 is still very early in the stage of uh, development so very hard to say but we'll see I can double check it later yeah so the best runs were somewhere around 4 minutes 21.5 or 21.6 seconds I think it's still uh, quite good the uh, overall key on getting very good performance for this stage has been uh, getting Copywaza to work uh, correctly as uh, it doesn't really work that well in Windows 10 nor on any of the newer operating systems. It does work fine in Windows XP and Server 2003 and you can get it working pretty alright in Windows 7. That's why many people use Windows 7 for Super by 32M and even sometimes Windows 7 over Windows XP because you can get pretty much the same performance. So uh, I managed to get uh, copy, copy was are working absolutely fine it was very consistent so uh, pretty good I might share this particular uh, Windows 10 operating system uh, installation for my Patreon followers so uh, it might be handy for overall 2D and 3D benching as uh, it seems many people have been uh, struggling to get the copy was thing working working because at the time of making these results the best scores have been somewhere around 4 minutes and 30 seconds or like 30 to 31 seconds so like 9 seconds behind what I what I was getting uh, right now so the real like uh, the actual difference comes from the copy waza but yeah very weird results so uh, CAS latency of 27 has been the most solid for me throughout these tests sometimes CAS latency of 25 was working in the uh, stage 1 testing uh, of this whole competition like two weeks ago or one week ago but uh, it didn't really want to even post successfully this time around so something was definitely not working uh, all right what i faced was that uh, the t ras so the last value of the main timings is very bugged usually 28 is the lowest you can set 28 is the lowest you can uh, adjust in the operating system with software like Elite X1, but you can actually uh, go a tiny bit lower in uh, the BIOS. So 26, with 26 I could uh, very often post and boot uh, memory settings much easier than with 28 or 27 or similar values, at least with common rate 1. So uh, when 28 was uh, like failing, like even the whole pros post process or it was giving blue screen upon uh, operating system boot, when I lowered it to 26, it could post and boot just fine and even run uh, like Super 32M either halfway through or uh, completely. So that was very interesting finding, but it, this is definitely weird. I tried everything possible, but no success whatsoever. And it's quite annoying because this kit was very good. And if I had the very same performance, what I had in the stage one, I think this kit should be able to run Super 32M even with common rate 2, like between 7600 and 8000. So uh, I think SuperPi 32M stability goes quite well hand in hand with Geekbench 3 stability. So when Geekbench 3 failed, 32M failed as well. 
and now I couldn't even run Geekbench free at 7600 or so, so the uh, uh, reduction in uh, memory frequency has been so dramatic it kind of makes me annoyed but that's uh, what it is right now and uh, that's definitely something I need to investigate on but yeah so that's pretty much the rig so uh, retail 1200k Z690 Kimpi motherboard Galax 710 uh, Fishbone uh, GPU and uh, the Vengeance 6200 uh, 6, Cas 36 engineering sample uh, memories with parts uh, copper custom heat sinks and the honeycomb ramp container and the latest revision of T-Rex container on the CPU S Superflower 2000 watt 8 pack power supply and that's pretty much it so uh, I will put uh, the link to the uh, competition page in the uh, description box of this video so you can find all of the uh, results and submissions uh, from that link so definitely check out these results if you are interested to see them but uh, yeah that's pretty much it we will see uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how the uh, stage 3 looks like I'm pretty confident it's going to be Geekbench 3 uh, memory score I really feel like uh, it's going to be part of this whole uh, thing because it's very uh, memory oriented test but we'll see so uh, I have to get a new amount of LN2 for that stage if I really want if I want if I want to uh, keep on uh, running the memories on LN2 and uh, if I get a new amount then I will definitely double check these sticks with the engineering sample 12400k if they are the very same as at the start then I know it's the IMC of the very uh, retail of, of this very particular retail 1200k that has gone bad that's very annoying if that's the case because I purchased this 1200k like three weeks ago just for this competition so the CPU part of course works just fine so the physical cores or the performance cores and the and the uh, atom cores but it's just the uh, IMC that's bugging around if that's the case but yeah so uh, hopefully you like to see these uh, uh, runs and these scores and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like to see this video and subscribe to my channel check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and thanks for watching one of my videos once again and i will see you on the next one